And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zed Shivana. Going to be our second Shivana deck here for Shivana Spotlight Night. This is going to be the combination of the Dark Star champions. We're going to have Dark Star Shivana as well as Dark Star Zed. I don't know why that doesn't pop up, but Dark Star Zed's also the other Dark Star champion. So I'm um, going to combine them together. We're going to be an aggressive deck with, um, you know, with some good elusives, with like Green Glade Duo, Dancing Droplet, but also Green Glade Elder and Shadow Assassin, of course, another elusive, but also Green Glade Elder. Y'all know how I really like this card. Grant all of our allies in hand, plus one, plus one. Should be pretty amazing with both Zed and Shivana and Screeching Dragon. Um, you know, like those are definitely cards that we want to have the plus one, plus one for. Um, we'll have some uh, Retreat Return. Um, we're a very good Retreat Return deck, especially the Return part, because we have these really great three mana units. Um, Green Glade Elder, Shadow Assassin, Zed. So like really good cards to return back into play. We have lots of good targets to Retreat. Also, like, because we can even put Egghead Researcher back into our hand and replay that, for example. Um, that's a good card to bounce. Obviously, Dancing Droplet, so we can draw cards. And then also Green Glade Elder for the plus one, plus ones. So honestly, we should maybe even have, like, one one of copy of Monastery <laughs> in this deck, to be honest. Because we just have we do have a lot of good things to be able to bounce and then put back into play. Um, uh, but yeah, then we have a couple barrier life steals to help us stay alive, some homecoming for interaction, and then Scythria also at the top end, giving everything plus one plus one and fearsome, doing cool stuff like that. All right, so let's get to it. Let's try it out. Zed Shivana, our second Shivana deck of the day. Okay, really a Zir, which is a very good deck. I'm going to keep the Zed, but mulligan the rest because we want to have find some cheaper cards. Okay, so the opponent is here. The Scythria may be too expensive. I mean, it's definitely too expensive for this matchup, but maybe it just ends up being too expensive as a six mana card. Could also definitely see just passing right here so I could have Sharp Sight protect Zed. If we had the attack token round three, I think that that would definitely make sense. Um, but of course, we don't have to block with Zed. Because we are playing Dancing Droplet and Retreat Return, we do have the ability to have round two Zed sometimes. That could be a thing. Everything's better with company. Says you. Says you. Full speed ahead. Not the egg. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Less than two weeks left for really a zier. Oh man, so I wanted to play Zed and then have Retreat Return back up, but I guess I'm just going to play the Fleet Feather Tracker first. Yeah. I think it's worth it to play Fleet Feather Tracker first. Then I don't have, I don't have like the return part, right? Like I could still retreat to save Zed from whatever, but I won't have the return part. The Emperor commands, the land obeys. I think you guys have to go. I was going to say they played very slowly, so I wasn't sure exactly what they had. a mana gem to draw a champion. Like, if that's a really, uh... They play a really, uh... I'm gonna rather homecoming. Is it, yeah, because Azir will level up. I guess... No, I guess I'm playing Screeching Dragon. 
Hope we get some level up Zeds pretty soon so we can see the cool new level up Zed animation. It's really cool. Not too surprised about that. How they've been playing pretty slow. Kind of makes sense that they had homecomings. I'm glad that we got rid of the dancing droplets. So I wanted to keep them honest there because if we could deal damage to the Azir, then that would have helped out uh, my Screeching Dragon re-challenge this Azir. But of course, as we know, that's not the case. Yeah, I'm still just doing Screeching Dragon. It's another homecoming. It's very bad. Homecoming's great. This deck just makes it seem like any card you have is way too expensive, right? Like we have like three mana, two, two, three mana cards, and it's like, man, these cards are way too expensive to play. <laughs> but it really is here, does. Sure makes it feel like that. Beach Your Eyes says that's my issue with Aurelia Zier, is that they can do so much for so little mana. I think the best nerf is not changing the mechanics, but increasing the cost of things a little bit. That's my cue. Yeah, which which hurt. You know, like the, the four and five mana card they increased those, that definitely did hurt. So you know one card in hand's another Azir. So just two other cards. God, I really hope it's not homecoming. Really hope it's not homecoming. Really hope this just works. Just hope it's just a couple of generic units. You know, like other, you know, Dune Keepers or Dancing Droplet or whatever. Anything but spell or champion. Anything else. Well, obviously that one's going to be a spell, so. I guess that's the thing.
Okay, so it's probably not a generic unit, because if it was, they probably would have played it right here. Okay, cool. You're a big Shivana fan? Yeah, so we got four different Shivana decks today. So far, so good. 5-0 on the first one. And we are in a grind. Oh, no! I guess the third Azir kills me. Well, we were in a grind. But it was the third Azir. Expensive. Looks pretty silly playing Cythria. Alright, first time playing against uh, one of the new champion skins here with Draven. I don't know, Shadow Assassin's good, but really easy to kill. Ugh. I don't like having two Shivanas like this. That could be interesting. It's not bragging if you could back it up. That could be interesting. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Delphinus asks if you, if you would rank the regions in order, what would be the order? It depends on like what we're like what's the rank about? Like what's the what's the context here? I serve my people with pride. It's just kind of tough for Shivana cuz like Screeching Dragon, Thermogenic Beam, they just have some really good answers to it. We know their decks just built around answers. I liked this matchup last time I think better with having the spell shield units like Sivir. Spell Shield was pretty nice last round. By competitiveness? Okay, so Targon's number one. Sharima number two. Shadow Isles number three. Noxus number four. Maybe Piltoverin's on number five. Ionia, 6. Demacia, 7. Freljord, 8. Bilgewater, 9. Yep, that sounds good. Time for the main event. Yeah, this is just not going to this is just not going to go well for me. I don't, I don't have a good play. Cythria again looks unplayable. That's two games in a row. That's pretty interesting. What would you wish to learn? Well, we sure have a lot of units in hand. Sure got a lot of those. No, I wouldn't say that I've tried elusives that much in this metagame. I definitely wish that, like, Tribeam and Probulator. I think that would be a good nerf. Like, there's not, like, a lot of stuff to do with this Draven Ezreal deck, but I think a, one good nerf would be with, tri like, Tribeam and Probulator. If the target goes away like that, then, then it fizzles. I think that really would be a 
a good change. Let's do this. Where are you going? I will teach you. Mm. No, let's not do this. I guess that's gonna just be him. Sure. Okay, only four. Okay, never mind. Okay, not dead. Oh, a six four? Man, Tribeam is so good. <laughs> I feel like every time I lose this deck, it's Tribeam is killing me. Oh man, that card kills me. Okay, so we're going to have to. I want to have Homecoming and Syncopation, and the only thing I can play is a two drop. So we're not going to have Homecoming and Syncopation. So we're going to have Shivana. Syncopation. And then Researcher. So just four cards to my six. That thing being a 6-4 is... <laughs> Tribeam hitting a 6-4 is kind of ridiculous. Oh, alright. That's cool. Yeah, I don't know why you'd 8 me in a thermogenic beam. Um, lost those. Yeah, 8 mana thermogenic beam for a... Um, for a 1-3 egghead researcher that... Yeah, that, I, don't, I don't know exactly what they're doing, but... They don't know what they're up against. After Wizard with tier 1 sub. Thank you so much, After Wizard. I appreciate that. I guess I should have bounced Shivana instead of Egghead Researcher. Yeah. Dragons are expansive. Zed. So I was planning on having, uh, I was kind of planning on doing the Eclipse Dragon, but I kind of feel like actually maybe we just need multiple elusives. I feel like this Ezreal just kills us though. I think that I think that I messed up that homecoming round, like last round. Like I guess I should have, like if I would have just like bounced Shivana and then bounced Ezreal, I would have taken the overwhelm damage because Draven's leveled up also. 
So I, I feel like I had to do something, but I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do. So I, yeah, I think we're just taking lethal from this thing. Death by Trebeam and Ezreal. Firing. I think that's our second Ezreal's Mystic Shot. So that's a common thread. No sweat. Is, you know, like, my opponent had like the three Azirs. I think that's their third Ezreal. With these losses. Three of the three mana champions. Okay, so I think I, I may have done some things wrong, but we just started off too far behind. Alright, looks like we got the same matchup. Hopefully get the Green Blade Elder a little earlier this time. Screeching Dragon is awesome in this matchup, but... I am using the Dark Star art for both champions. I am. Yeah, that's our it's our Dark Star deck. We got the Dark Star board, the Dark Star sleeve. Card back, we got our Dark Star art. Well, we found the Green Glade Elder. But we kind of don't have any champions. Or like we don't have any units. This is a huge deal having the attack token when they do. You know, obviously, if I had the attack token this round with attacking with Zed it, or them attacking with Graven, like, it's a huge deal. can do is this. Hey, Raspin. playing this because this is the card that they know about, so they have a little bit less information about what the rest of my hand entails. Again, man, this is be so nice if I could just, you know, hunt homecoming and then this fizzles. That'd be so nice. The thing is now both of my combat tricks cost four mana. But I do save two spell mana, so now I have
Is that number four or is it number three? It's number three? Okay. This Tribune and Privilear card is unbeatable. <laughs> it really is. That card is unbelievable. So we're just getting destroyed by Tribune and Probulator every game. Something. I guess we're gonna get Tribune again. Alright, so... Okay, I'm glad we mulliganed the Shivana. It's just kind of too easy to uh, do something about. They have the attack token around round three again, unfortunately. It's like we're we're playing a good a good back and forth game. Both both people do an interaction and stuff like that, and then Tribune and Probular happens and just kill your best thing and put a seven drop into play. It's just not you know, it's not a contest anymore. Yeah, I like to, you know, like, we, we beat this deck a couple of times with the Sivir deck, you know, when we had some Spell Shield, and Sivir, Ruin Runner, fight spells, like, having the Spell Shield, that was really nice. But our Zed, unfortunately, lines up a lot worse against this deck, you know, having no Spell Shield and dying Domestic Shot. Lines up a little worse. Good play by them passing. Fortunately, I already used my sharp sight. I mean, it's still not a bad trade for me. We're just like the easy ways for them to kill stuff. Guess we're gonna go with that. None of the new skins have new animations. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Oh, Talia does. Shadows. 
Gotta love it. Oh, I can't make you a challenger again, can I? They're still at five out of six right now. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. This world is finished. Can we make a dragon? Hopefully we get to kill Ezreal and make a dragon. Okay, so that levels up Ezreal, but we'll still kill Ezreal. I assume that was just a regular Mystic Shot, not an Ezreal's Mystic Shot. Yes, so that was a regular one. Last round was... They just played a Mystic Shot just a little bit ago. Oh, maybe it was a creative one or something? Okay. So why did they Mystic Shot this Vox? I guess to, yeah, to level up. So I guess that Mystic Shot did three, da three damage to the Vox. Yeah, maybe they had Ravenous Flock. That's what's kind of thinking too. Like maybe they had Ravenous Flock, and but you know, like with the Fury. Still make new dragon. We got them down to just one card. Ish. You know, they have, obviously have these decimates and stuff too. Ooh, that could be good. That could be very good. Another Catrogrin. Okay, so that's a spell, so probably. Oh no, five. Five, five scouts. Alright, so I have to open attack Spirit's Refuge before they decimate. Not ideal, but have to do that. And I have to just use the, the this thing immediately also, because they could just not block and then go to one. What a life. What a life. And then back to Thresh and Nessus. Scythria probably has to go. We haven't like really even come close to casting a Scythria yet. That card probably has to go from our deck. It's probably like the only card that hasn't been good. We need something better. The Emperor commands. The land obeys. Always forward. 
No, I didn't. I didn't say that we were gonna go 05. I said that that's that's what we did yesterday. Yesterday we went 5005. I didn't. I didn't try to say that we were doing that with this deck. I wasn't expecting that. I think our deck's been good, but just Draven Ezreal's amazing for a reason. It's, you know, it's right up there, the very very top of the win rates, and we've been running into some hot opponents with it. Games have been competitive, but they've come out on top. If this is Black Spear, I'm going to just let the Zed die because I have the backup Zed in hand. And I'll save the Sharp Sight. So we know that they have two champions in hand because they've done two of the draw champions. So you got to imagine that they have Thresh in hand. It'd be a huge upset if they don't have Thresh. So I think you know they, they want me to play something, and then they are going to have more information with like what they challenge with Thresh. Um, these things here are the better things to challenge to begin with. Don't imagine they'd be challenging Screeching Dragon, but okay, cool. I was gonna say maybe Screeching Dragon makes them less likely to play Thresh. So I don't know what I don't know what their plan is. Like what five mana last round unless like both of those are NASA's stay alive, can they? Okay, so these are... So they're at 11. They block a Zed, which is 4 power. They're taking 3, 4, 5... Oh, I guess they, they can stay alive with a... Okay, with a Vile Feast. The Vile Feast keeps them alive. Yeah. Because that'll keep them alive at 1, because they'll be able to heal their Nexus for 1. They'll go to 12. Then on 4... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, because I have eleven. I probably why am I not just playing the Shadow Assassin first? That's what I should be doing, is just playing Shadow Assassin first. Yeah, why why did I not just play Shadow Assassin? Why did I think I would like didn't have mana left? Yeah, I don't know why I didn't just do that. <laughs> I mean, hopefully we don't lose this game from here. But I guess you never know. They just haven't had a very good hand, it doesn't seem like. Okay. 
So we had to have a, a game kind of go well for us. I guess whenever they did draw the champions, they were just drawing Nessus. Alright. Got to win. Didn't get shut shadow. out. Okay, so I think our, our deck list actually performed pretty well. As, uh, about as well as a 1-4 deck can perform, honestly. Um, but, you know, Draven Ezreal is a great deck. And Tribune and Privilator is a great card. And we had a whole lot of Tribune and Privilators cast against us. Um, and, so, you know, like we lost some really close games. And my opponent top decked the win that... Um, that last game, they had to have something that, to kill their own 3-2. Because, like, that, uh, the game four. But, yeah. Um, you know, so we played against Draven Ezreal three times. We had, um, I don't know, seven, eight, something like that. Tribune of layers cast against us. And they're tough. <laughs> but, um, really thought we were winning the game four until they, they top-decked the, top-decked the win. Uh, but anyway, so the only card that really felt out of place was the Scythria, right? Just all the games, it was too expensive. Whenever it was in my hand, I just never even came close to casting it. So that was like the only card that I think that kind of has to go. Um, I could see, and so like replacing it, could see playing Radiant Guardian. We don't have like lots of spells in here, only 12. So could see playing a couple more spells. I could see playing a couple Concerted Strikes, um, honestly. Uh you know, Ezreal was kind of a problem. Maybe single combat. Yeah, because I don't, I don't have single. Like we basically just, we just have the homecoming. And homecoming was okay, but maybe it'd be better as like single combat or, or something like that. I could see that. So maybe let's get like the third. Like screeching dragon was very good though. Let's get the third screeching dragon in here and let's get a single combat. Let's go ahead and do that. That should be able to help out. We didn't have Greenglade Elder very much also. That's the thing with like the, the Draven Ezreal matchup is that they were able to kill our small units. And one thing that's supposed to help counter that is Greenglade Elder. We did have it like the one game, but we didn't draw it until like round six in that game. And if we had it earlier, we could have used it. Because, you know, we'd played like three Shadow Assassins by the time we played the Elder. And if we had the Elder buff up these Shadow, like that would have been so, so important in that other game, like where we, where they just, like their 1 3 Ezreal was just killing my 2 1 Shadow Assassins, and it was just really frustrating. Where like one Green Glade Elder turning those Shadow Assassins into 3 2s would have made a big, big difference. Um, so, you know, hopefully we do a better job of drawing that card. But that's just two small changes that I think I would make. Um, like the Syncopation was good, the Retreats and Homecomings, like I said, were good, but let's just get rid of those Cethrios, get another Screeching Dragon in here, and then let's play a single combat. Um, and there we go. And um, could be could be looking at like maybe removing like a droplet or something else for another single combat. You know, like if you want, you know, you could try to find room for a second single combat. It wouldn't be too difficult to do that. Uh, I'd definitely be looking at like this early game here, like maybe even a Green Glade duo. Um, Green Glade duo didn't look that impressive for our list, uh, so that could be another single combat. Um, you know, something like that to get another one in there. But uh, there we go. But there's going to be Zed Shivana. So like I said, only a 1-4, but I th I think that our deck was still looked good and uh, just lost a bunch of close games to Draven Ezreal, basically. <laughs> you know, that, that happens. It's a very good deck. All right, but that's going to be it here for Zed Shivana. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.